And we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lag, and this is Valheim. What an exciting episode I have planned for us today, because today is the first day that we're going to be going into the plains and actually exploring the plains. Previously, we had to cut through the plains to get to the snow biome boss, Modder, who we did defeat on the very last episode, and Modder was nice enough to drop some tears for us, which, in return, I was able to make an artisan table. Here's a look at that artisan table. It just cost two tiers and ten wood, so very cheap. Well, getting the tiers was not very cheap. It was kind of hard to get those tiers, but we got them. And it says I can make a wooden missile times 20. Sturdy wooden missiles that can provide a tough defense against foes. So I'm guessing there's some sort of, like, turret that I could possibly shoot missiles out of? I don't know. If there is a turret, I don't see it anywhere. Don't know where you make it at. But we unlocked a few more things. We got this stone oven here. I guess that is... What is the stone oven? It doesn't say that it's an upgrade station for, the, like, the cauldron, so I think this is an actual cooking station. Plus, we got this blast furnace. We also got a windmill and a spinning wheel. I don't know what any of these things do, so I'm going to have to play around with them, and we'll be checking them out definitely on the next episode. I'll have them all built by then. But for now, like I said, I really want to go to the plains Kind of look around and see what new stuff we can get that we don't already have. Uh, back in the dirty old swap. Don't forget to set your respawn point. Here we go. Got some obsidian arrows with me today. So I'll be doing a little bit more... Oh, no. Uh, abomination. I don't feel like dealing with him right now, so I'm just going to run for it. And here comes a bunch of skeletons. That's fun. Let's just get over to the plains. And then maybe some of the stuff in the plains... Oh, God, that's right. There's... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to kill you guys, huh? All right, chill. All right, my turn. There we go. That's what happens. Forgot there's, like, leeches and stuff in the water I'm going to have to deal with. What do you want, Draugr? I want you to die. Good, you did. A lot of Draugrs over here. Slowly coming for me. Is that Abomination still coming? Yeah, Maybe gonna head over this way anyway screw these leeches we'll be fine go for it go 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 all right i don't want to aggro the locks i learned the hard way with those locks didn't i they are not fun to deal with just let them do their thing they want to sit around and eat freaking cloud berries all day let them do it death mosquito please not right now i'm in the middle of a vicious battle oh i think the dragger's trying to shoot the death mosquito oh no no i didn't want to deal with you why are you bothering me well i absolutely already hate how today's going I'm just gonna get up here, maybe go in the snow biome and the locks won't follow me and I'll just come back down. That's the new plan. Can you get up these steep hills? Uh, looks like you can. Crap! Yeah, get behind the rock. Okay. No, you can get all the way up. Wow, you're a good climber. No death mosquito. Oh my god, I'm so close to death. I'm so close to death. I think I've got two death mosquitoes on me. Alright, one. Where's the other one? Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah. Alright, run. Locks coming. Ah! Good news is that he's almost dead. Won't be long now. You did this to yourself, for real. Okay, I was minding my own business. I'm just here to do some exploring, man. Didn't have to be this way. Never had to be this way. Good night. Okay, let's see what else this plains has to offer. Aside from me running around screaming for my life. Be nice to find something actually useful here. Look, some cloud berries. We like these because we can make those new stamina potions with them. Hey, here's something I just learned. You can toggle on and off your auto pickup feature. So if I pluck one of these berries, it will suck right into my inventory. But if you don't want to do that, let's say you're clearing a bunch of stone and stuff and you don't want all the stone. You know, like when you're trying to get all that uh, copper from the uh, Black Forest, right? All you have to do is hit V. V will turn off the auto pickup. And hit V again to turn it back on. That is helpful. Some kind of stone out there by the ocean. There's also some death mosquitoes, but that's all right. We'll get through them, and we'll get to that stone and read about the planes. It should just give us some information about what we're dealing with around here. Nope. And nope. Got some falling over here. Ooh, another death mosquito out of left field. Got him, though. Yeah, what you gonna do with that club? You're gonna do nothing with that club. What are you doing? Throwing spears at me, huh? You missed! Whoa! Hey, he almost got me! No, no, no. Did I kill them both? I think so. 
Take that black metal scrap. We're going to melt some of that down later on today and see what we can make with it. Uh, yeah, a runestone. Let's read it. In a land far from here, I once saw a star come unfastened from the great curtain of night and fall into the sand. It glowed red when I approached, but by morning was cool. Blessed sword flesh, furnished food, a gift of strong metal from the gods. Okay. Uh, have fun deciphering that, because I'm not going to do it. Oh, there's another lox going around, going around. I know the drill. You know what? I think I'm going to drop these cloud berries. I don't know if they're attracted to them or what, but these things are just super aggro. And I can't remember them used to being like that. So, you know what? I'll get cloud berries on a separate mission when I need cloud berries. I'll just come in, grab them, and go. But for now, since I'm walking around and they could be attracting these things, I'm just going to throw them out. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of falling in here. I think that's probably a safe assumption. So I'm going to have to be careful. Don't want to die. My bed's nowhere near here, actually. It's all the way back there in the swamp. So this would be really hard to get my stuff back if I did die. Really, really hard, actually. Oh, I hear the giggling of the falling. They're in here. Ooh, what is that? There's a thing. We have a thing. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. Should probably draw them out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on out here. That's way I can see what I'm doing. Okay, we've got a locks over that way. Oh, God. Death Skeeto. Didn't see him coming. Come on again. Come on. Come on, you stupid thing. Yeah. I right, got the Death Skeeto. That's out of the equation. No. Alright, I think that should be all the ones that were on the ground, but I think there were some up in the tower, too. Let's see. All up there? I'm taking this. A falling totem. So, if I'm not mistaken, that will spawn in the next boss. But I don't know how many we need. As you can see, we only get one from this structure. So, we're going to have to find more of these structures, and hopefully they'll have more in them. Coming in. Don't break the stairs. We're going to have to use those. I said don't break the stairs. Got him. I think I broke the stairs. That's all right. We can do a little jump. What kind of stuff do you little goblins put in a chest? Oh, you put gold in a chest. Oh, some wheat. No, this is barley. Okay. That's a new thing. If I remember correctly, that can actually only be planted in this biome. But since we have a base set up with a nice stone wall perimeter with a teleporter, we can start a farm. No problem in the plains. And anytime we need the barley, uh, we can just teleport to it, pluck it, teleport back home. So it'll be fine. Look at these two dummies. What are you doing out here? I just raided your little tower. All your stuff's mine now. Including that totem. I don't think so. No. Thanks for playing. All right, Lox, you just stay up there. I'm just walking by. You don't see me. I know you don't see me, so don't pretend like you do. You're good? Good, run. Run. Okay. Holy village. Oh my god, there's a huge falling village over here. Wait a minute. Aha! Oh boy, I was not expecting to find this today. I have found the location stone for Yagluth. Let's see where he's located at. Oh no. <laughs> really? Okay. So, for perspective, I am here. He is down there. My boat is all the way over here. So, I'd have to teleport to my boat and then set sail all the way down here. Oh, no. But at least I've got the ability to get always tailwind since we killed Modder. So, I'll have to pick up that before we go check out the boss location. Plus, we should check it out to see how many of these... Um, Little totems we're going to need to spawn them in. Oh boy, what do we do here? Okay, when we go up top. Let's go up top away from those guys. We'll get a better look and see what's going on in this village. There's going to be a ton of falling here. Oh, good God. Look at the size of this thing. Some sort of brute. If I can get his attention, maybe bring him over here and fight him. 1v1. That'd be cool. I think I'm too far away to hit him. Try again. Oh, that definitely hit him. 
Uh, his little buddies are coming, but he's not coming. That's fine. Did not just set me on fire with that torch. Oh, he's coming now. Okay. A falling berserker. Well, you took a lot of damage from that arrow, so that's what I'm going to do to you. You're getting arrows. What you going to do with that club? I ain't doing nothing. I'm too far away. He goes on a little berserker fit. Just like you might imagine from the name. Nope. Smack. Ooh, almost got me again. Brah, you're dead. <laughs> got him. Berserker down. Ooh, I got a Berserker trophy. Wonder how rare that is. Don't know. And we got a bunch of the scrap and some gold. See some more falling. Oh, God, I killed him. One shot. That was awesome. Here comes another one. Got an obsidian arrow for you, too, bud. Right in your dome. Now you get smashed. Soon your village will belong to me. I bet there's probably another berserker in here. This is a... Yeah, there is. Yeah, he spawned in. I just saw him. Oh, there's some up top, too. Gotta watch these guys. Get them out of the way first. Man. Sometimes I can one-shot these guys. Is this like a shaman? He's got some sort of staff in his hand. <laughs> well, if he was, he isn't anymore. He probably heals them, so it's good to get those guys out of the way. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, it is a shaman. It's exactly what those things are. Oh, there's like four of these guys coming at me. Now we're in trouble. Now I've gone and done it. Oh, the old iron sledge. Maybe this will help. Yeah, I'll at least keep them at bay. Doing some damage. Oh, yeah, smash. Good one. Good one. Where are you going? You can't run from the iron sledge. There's no escaping it. Oh, I got a death mosquito by accident on that one, too. All right, I got to heal up. Oh, boy. They're all coming. They're all coming. This is bad. Oh, God, there's a lox right there. Nope. Going around. Four falling to kill and a berserker. All coming at me at once. This could be a disaster. I need to pop bone mass. I need to pop bone mass right now. Let's see if I can get this little guy. I got him. I think it's just me and you now. Probably shouldn't assume that. You probably look around. Yeah, I don't see anybody else. All right, let's get this berserker. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Well, I guess it's time to find out what the frost near can do against him and how hard is this going to be? Move out the way. Go in, get a hit. Move out the way. Okay, all right. It's going to take some doing, but I'll do it. Yes, 70. Wow, yeah, it's doing good hits. Okay, that's better than the bow and arrow was. A little more dangerous. Yeah, we didn't get a trophy from him that time, so yeah, it might be a little bit more of a rare drop to get a trophy. I got one on my first kill. Pretty dope. So since I'm out of arrows, I guess that means I've got to go in here and handle business. Oh no, that's going to suck. Tell you what, I'm just going to come up here like this. Maybe see what's in this tower. Probably nothing. Eh, there's some black scrap metal from the one I killed, but now they can't get me while I'm up here. But I should probably go down there and get them because there's only two of them right now. Gives me a good look at everything, though. There's two in that tower. I don't know if there's any in those towers. Yeah, there's a couple in those towers as well. Pretty sure they're shooting arrows at me. Let me get down. All right, let's go. I'm down. Let's fight. Stop with those spears. It's obnoxious. All right, now we've got more coming. Four. One's, two of them's got torches. We'll catch you on fire. Gotta watch out for these guys. All right, got one. Gotta get these spear guys out of the way, too. Come here, spear guy. They're on my list. It's not a good list to be on. Crap. Oh, he didn't catch me on fire. Good. Oh, I got you cornered. I got you cornered. I'm on fire. Oh, there's a lox. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm stuck. All right, I was able to get some health, stamina, and ate my meal, so... Good to go, but uh, not for long. Not with this guy chasing me around. Come on, let me get up there. Yes, ain't no way you're getting up here. 
Not gonna happen, big man. Stay down there. Wonder if I can do some AOE damage. Uh, I got the falling. I think I got the locks a little bit as well. So this will work. It's just gonna take absolutely forever. The whole village is coming now. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Okay, now we need a new plan, and I don't have one. Odin? Uh, I could use an assist down here. Want to send Thor or somebody? Come help me. These guys are going to start throwing spears and stuff in a second. Not going to be good. Look at the shaman. Just put up like a protective bubble. What a jerk. Yeah, he surrounded one of them with a protective bubble. They got shields. Oh, good. The locks is going away. Okay. Good, good, good. This is what I was hoping for, that he would de-aggro at some point. Maybe if I just, uh... Okay, well, that's not gonna work. I was gonna say, maybe if I just sit here... I gotta take the stupid shaman out. I got rid of the shield anyways. If I can get rid of the shaman... Then maybe I could sit here and just everyone will slowly de-aggro. That would be wonderful. Uh, it's probably a bad idea, but here we go. Boom! Big hit. Get a big hit. Oh, God, they can get on this rock. Uh-oh. This may be my final stand. Come on. I'll fight to my last breath. She's going to be very soon. Very, very soon. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is bad. You're in bad shape here. I'm just going to zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Serpentine formation. Can't take a healing potion right now. I just took one recently. Here they all come. Missed. Two missed. Got one. All right, there's one less. We may get out of this yet. I don't know. That's pretty optimistic of me. We probably won't. Probably gonna die. Ooh. Now there's only three of you. Guess what? I'm gonna win this fight. Ah, when everything was looking its worse. Odin smiled upon me with the run for your life technique. Thank you, Odin. Now me and you, Shaman, although I am severely injured, and if you shoot me with one of those magical things, I'm probably gonna die. Don't do it, thank you. Now I'm coming to get you. Get out of your bubble. Get out of your bubble. No, ooh, ooh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Payback time, you goblin wizard. There we go. And that's what you get, okay? Because that was ridiculous. I was doing so good. And then you, of all, of all of them killed me. Boom, boom, bam. And then wind up for a big one. And you missed, and I hit, and I back out. And then I do it again, and I back out. Then we let some stamina regain. But we stay away from the locks that I know is over that way somewhere. Heal it up. Oh, ow. No. Stupid mosquitoes. Come here. Ooh, a death mosquito trophy. Cool. Didn't even know they had trophies for those little guys. Almost got you now. Almost time for you to die. Okay. Well, at least I blocked it. And then boop. And then run backwards. I think one more is gonna do. Let's go. No! Okay, you got me. But I win. I win. All right, is that all the berserkers? Because that would be real nice if it was. And maybe that's all of the shamans as well. I'm hoping all we have left now... Oh, a, a shaman trophy. Cool. All we have left now are just regular little goblin people. Come here. Got him. I can't really pick up all this stuff because I'm so full. Let's see. Yeah, I can pick up the gold. All right, I'm good with that. One star general. Boom, uppercut into the next week, pal. Uh-oh, fire. Fire. Look at your friends. Think about what you're doing. All right, well, you had the option. You chose poorly. Going inside your hut. Y'all can't stop me now. The village is almost mine. Oh, nice. Little bed in here. I could probably easily set up an outpost right here once I'm done clearing it out. What you got in here? 
Yeah, look at this little place. This is nice. Got a little upstairs here for a lookout. Okay, nothing in this one. That tower is clear. All right, so these first three buildings are clear. On to the next. If I find a chest around here, I will pick these uh, spare metal up and I'll put them in a chest. Duskito, I heard you. Yeah, you just hear him at the last second. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got him. dead anything up in that tower no all right how about this hut here a couple of beds that's all only a few of you left the village is as good as mine didn't think i'd be able to do it did you never say never that's my attitude should have stayed up there in that tower at least you would have prolonged your life for another 30 seconds Oh, another another falling trophy. These could be important. I, I probably want to make room and get that. It might not be important at all, though. Almost got him. There he goes. Excellent. No chest up here. All right. I heard another one somewhere. I'm guessing over here on this last tower. Yep, I see you. This may be our final guy. Any last words? Oh, no. Just want to throw the spear, huh? There you go. Hope it was worth it. Oh, there's a chest in here. And yeah, this is where I will definitely be storing some of this metal for the time being, just so I can have some room to pick up whatever else I may find. So a little bit disappointing. All that seems to be here for a ton of falling that I killed. But it's a good opportunity to get a lot of this scrap because I don't think you can dig up the scrap. I don't think you can mine for it anywhere. Pretty sure only these guys drop it. Don't quote me on that. And there were a couple of chests, but yeah, I don't see anything else of value around here. Kind of sucks. I think I have fully searched this strip of the plains here. It was a pretty good chunk. And we learned a couple of things that the locks are actually predators and their reign of terror must be stopped. These villages are obnoxiously hard to clear. And once you clear them, uh, there's not much to gain from it except for a bunch of that, uh, that black stuff. But we did find a totem, which I'm pretty sure spawns in the next boss. And we did find where the next boss is located at. So on the next episode, what I think we'll do is we'll set up an outpost over where the boss is at. And we will clear out that plains and see if we can get some more of those totems. We're not done with today's episode yet, though, because all this black scrap metal, I actually have some at home. I think I have a stack of 15 at the house. So I want to smelt some of it down to see what new stuff we can learn. And I want to teleport over to my planes base that we already have. And I want to try to plant some of this barley and get it growing as well. So I'll catch you guys back at the base. Won't well, let me add the black metal scrap to these. So maybe I need that new uh, furnace to actually melt these down. Not sure. Guess we can stick it right about so big. Uh, maybe I'll put it over here. I got to move that wood pile though. Look at this thing looks so cool. We'll put it right here. Blast furnace. Need some coal. And then you add an item there, and it comes out here. All right, let's get some coal. Don't have a lot of coal, but 15 will do. Then can I put... Ah, this is where it goes. Okay, that's where the metal scrap goes. Goes in the blast furnace. Look at it work. Oh, cool. That is a neat piece of equipment. All right, while we're waiting for that to cook, we're going to head over to the plains where I have the base set up at. That's how it works. You got to come over here to the plains and plant this stuff. You can't plant it in the regular soil. So I only have three, so it's a start. But I'll turn this whole thing into a barley field. Doesn't matter what it looks like to me, just so long as it's growing barley. Let's see if we've got any. Yeah, we got some black metal bars now. Black metal, okay. Ooh, black metal shields. Pots and pans. Was that it? A shield and some pots and pans? Well, whatever. It'll be used for plenty of stuff. Trust me. Ooh, I can make a black metal missile now. Okay. 
Yep, there's a black metal shield right here. Fashioned from the strongest metal, able to turn even the deadliest blades. And there's also a black metal tower shield. So these are pretty cheap to make, actually. Definitely make the black metal shield, and I probably will on the next episode. I don't see anything else, though, that's black metal. That's kind of wild. Maybe that's because I'm missing some sort of ingredient, and then the whole list of black metal weaponry will pop up. Not sure. Black metal armor would be awesome, but I don't know if that's a thing. But we got some stuff accomplished today, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on it. As always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.